accords all sorts I get floored with force I endorse any sources near but ports in these parts Yo, yo, me some beers, I'ma go with these odds Till I see stars, till I be me Large stream, three yards, Did you see me acting like a retard Hello again, welcome to Boris Gaming, I'm John and this is... Chris! Yes. And we're here for our third video today that we're doing on CPUs um, Again, I'll touch base on that. If you've watched the other two videos, this is just junk that you've pretty much heard before. But yeah. um, so we've we've got a list of CPUs at the moment. We've got the 3930K, 3770K, the i5 2300, and the Intel G840. Um, so we don't have a massive, comprehensive list of CPUs that we can do comparisons on, but it not still yet. gives you not yet. We're, we're working on we'll it. Get there. We'll this, get there. this is all we have at the moment, um, and we'll give you a more updated list as we go along, obviously. Um, so today we're doing my actual, <coughs> my own CPU, we're doing the 3930K. Um, it is a beast. It's a very good yes. CPU. Um, really only trumped by some Xeon processors and the 3960X. Yeah. Um, uh, but from my personal knowledge, if, if it was your money, you're going to go out and you, you're dead set on getting a Sandy Bridge E CPU, 3930K is easily the best choice. Um, Unless you're looking for a more budget option, then you'd probably go to the 3820. And even still, I'd probably yeah. go to the 3770K or a 2600K over the 3820. Is there, anyway. a, is there really a budget <coughs> option there? <laughs> well, that's, that's yeah. one of the cheaper ones, anyway. Yeah, cheaper. Um, <coughs> yeah, so this is that second breast, uh, second breast, hey, sec nice. second best Sandy Bridge <laughs> CPU uh, for a regular desktop PC. Um, and I can vouch from personal experience, even though I'm, I'm getting a bit ahead, we haven't done the benchmarks yet. Well, we have done the benchmarks yet, so I'm sort of cheating, because I know the results. Yeah, well, actually, they've watched your other videos and they have seen them. Yeah. So you well, might have seen them too. Yeah. Um, so what we've done, uh, 3.2, that's a stock clock, but I've turned the t uh, turbo off. Uh, that was an accident, but I decided not to rebench it, so it's sitting at 3.2, no turbo enabled or anything. So, um, And then I've done another one at 4 gigahertz and then another one at four and a half gigahertz. Um, <coughs> so, probably not much more talking to do other than get to the benchmark so you guys can see the results. Bring them on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink in here, put your glasses up. Up, 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 up my bottles. My bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles. Yeah, yeah, whiskey free. Like a phoenix, feel a reborn, watch your porn, see your three tits, fearless in the beer, see this a we gets, we need beer like vehicles, they be licks, we sip at the bar, raise into these lips, we feel like Scarface, we a wee piss, tealess, sweet as beer, my ID does lead me with speed to whatever beer be, cause Bro, my bottle, give me three whiz, three sixes, in the ass key as we fish, my bottle, bring me to the floor like fish, we twist these caps, we smash the meat, Fair bit of money to spend on a CPU, you get a 3930K. Yeah, basically, that's <laughs> about it, really. Yeah. <laughs> they, they are <laughs> Hands enormously down. fast wow. CPUs. Really, yeah. really, really fast. Um, the most impressive CPU I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I mean, I, like, I haven't seen the 3960X. You could get a 3960X, but you pay a hell of a yeah. lot more for it, and the, the difference between them, from what I know, Pretty I have double the price, isn't it? Just about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't personally owned one or benched one or ha had any hands on experience with it, but I've read quite a bit up on it. Um, and it certainly seems as though the 3930K is the better buy yeah. by a long shot. I'd, I'd vouch for that, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, still an extremely expensive CPU, uh, so it's, it's it not really a budget option. Powerful. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking at doing some really CPU intensive tasks on your desktop, then it's definitely a good option. Mm. Um, Any rendering of videos and yeah. anything like that, really. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an all rounder. Um, if you're running a server or something, you'd probably go with Xeon, but yeah, mm. this this is certainly up to the task as well. Um, 
So yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it other than the fact that it's insanely fast, it's extremely good. Um, I did, well I used my own personal uh, rig like I said and I was using the uh, uh, Thermaltake Freo Advanced CPU cooler which Thermaltake isn't too bad when it comes to CPU coolers. I think in the past they were a little bit eh, but at the moment they're not too bad. Um, I didn't think too much of that CPU cooler at first. Looks nice. Uh, it gets really loud if, if you ramp it up. Um, but it definitely keeps the CPU cool. It's, it's quite good. I've had that thing at 5 gigahertz. I wouldn't call it stable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's 5 gigahertz on air. Uh, I didn't do this last night or anything or when I was doing benchmarking. Um, this is going back a few months. But yeah, booted in, ran Cinebench, got 14 point something. I can't remember what it was. Um, but I, yeah, like I said, I, I wouldn't exactly call it stable at 5 gigahertz when I had it there. Um, if you can get it to 5 gigahertz and run it stable, then you're probably going to set the world on fire because it's extremely fast. Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the conclusion. Yeah, that's about it. If you've got enough money and you really want a fast CPU, 3930K is, is an easy choice. Go for it. Um, and we'll have another video probably tomorrow, actually. Um, I've got a GTX 680 coming in for my rig. Mm. Yay, 680. Um, it's going to be nice. So, yeah. We'll do an unboxing and do some benchmarks on that. I also have to do some benchmarks on the other graphics cards that I've benchmarked. Try and get some gaming benchmarks on there. Yeah. I had a request for that, and that's that's definitely a good point. I've only done the uh, 3D Mark and you know all the synthetic benchmarks as of late. What was the request? The actual games? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's a fair call. Yeah. You know, it's all good looking at the synthetic benchmarks, but really, Did what matters is the gameplay. Huh? Did that on one of them? Yeah, yeah. on the low end ones. We yeah, yeah, games, yeah, yeah. That's right, with Skyrim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the high end ones, I'm still yet to do the games. So. Yeah, fair call. Probably yeah. Good. Metro 2033, Battlefield 3. Might do some Skyrim. I'm having some trouble with that at the moment. I'm going off topic here, but I can't help it because I don't talk to people much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Tried to do Skyrim on the 670 and. Uh, Sort of failed because it, I couldn't get the V-Sync off without messing up the drivers, um, which I don't know if anyone else is. Yeah, yeah. if anyone else has experienced the same issue and has overcome the problem, let me know. I'd like to know. Um, but with the new NVIDIA drivers, I'm finding that if I change anything in the 3D settings, whether it be V-Sync, whether I change uh, global settings for AA filtering and all that kind of stuff, um, it degrades the performance phenomenally to the fact where I actually have to reinstall the driver and then leave it alone. Um, so Maybe the 670 is just not powerful enough. <laughs> yeah, well, the 670 is powerful enough. Yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> we're going to do Skyrim or not, because you can't force V-Sync off in the game. Uh, I don't know if we will. But other games that you can force V-Sync off, um, using the actual game itself, we'll, we'll use it mm. as, as benchmarks for sure. So I guess sum up the CPUs. You got your G840 if you're either broke or you just don't really need much power. Good option. 3070-70K if you're, you know, willing to spend a little bit, but you don't really want to spend. Well, it was about 600 bucks for 3930K. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, um, and you want to do a bit of overclocking. Good option. And your 3930K if money's not an issue and you just want an absolute beast in your PC. So. Truth be told, if you're playing games, 3930K and the 3770K are absolute overkill. Yeah, 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 very you true. You really yeah. don't need to go past an nah. i5. Probably even that's overkill for most games. Um, really, but really, the CPU doesn't make too much difference no. on a lot of games. So long really, as it's yeah. not going to throttle the GPU, then it should be fine. And with any of these CPUs, except for maybe the G840, uh, it's not really going to make any difference unless you're running a lot of. If you're running two 690s or something like that, then you might need a heavyweight CPU. But yeah. You're anyway, running, you're running two 690s, are you? No, <laughs> definitely not. I, I don't think do the full that. tower is big enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See thanks you later, guys. guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.